So let's see if we can figure out how to type these into a calculator reasonably so we can get our picture without having to worry about whether our picture is good enough to read off where the intersections are. So I want to put 100 equals W plus M into my calculator, right? So if I go to the Y equals button, it'll bring up a bunch of different things I can graph. But your calculator is pretty dumb. And so it only knows how to graph things when you have Y equals. So the first thing you want to do is go look at how you set up your profit function or your objective function and figure out which thing's playing the role of Y. That's going to be this guy. When I look at that, I'm thinking Y is M. Okay? So that means I'm going to want to take each of these and solve for M. Let's go with that. We have to all solve them all for the same variable, and it really should be the second one here, otherwise you'll have issues. So if I'm solving all of these for M, how do I manage that? Like, what do I need to do to this first one? Okay, so I'm going to subtract W from both sides, so I'm going to get M equals 100 minus W. So on my calculator, I'm going to type in 100 minus what? X. X. And X is under this like kind of generic variable button. And then if I hit graph, oh god. Someone's stats. got stats. Yeah, stat plot. Yeah. How do I get uh, it go, back, go back into Y equals. Scroll up to plot one and plot two and hit enter. <coughs> on plot one. And then plot one as well. <laughs> now they'll be gone didn't delete them, but they're gone. Oh, thank God. All right, and okay. it's not graphing anything, right? Why is it not graphing anything? Yeah, because the window is all dorked. So I want to think about what do I want my window to approximately be? So you're talking about things that roughly add up to 100, right? For that one. So For this one? Zero to 200. So I think I want to go from like nothing to double that, maybe. So if I go in window, I want the x min to be 0 and the max to be 200 and the scale to be like 5s or something. y min to be 0, x ma or y max to be 200 and again set the scale to 5. Then I got a picture of a line. Yes. <laughs> cool. Mm -hmm. All right. So, how do I get the other line? Like, here's another one. What do I do first? Subtract 4w. Yeah, I still want to solve for m, so I'm going to subtract 4w. So that'll get me to 16m is 800 minus 4w. And then what? Divide by 16. Divide by 16. And yeah, let your calculator do this. So this is going to be the stuff you had before, 800 minus 4w, in parentheses over 16. So don't fiddle around solving these, just stick it in there. So if you go into y equals, go down to y2, parentheses, 800 minus 4x divided by 16, with parentheses, hit graph. Boom. There's our, which line was that? That was the labor line, I think. You guys see that? All right, and the last one, what do you do? Don't overthink this one. You're still solving for M, right? So do the same stuff. Get the W's on the other side. Now I'm going to subtract 20W. I'm going to get 40M equals 2400 minus 20w, which is 20w. Can you just divide the whole thing by 40? Divide the whole thing by 40. Get m is. 20 minus 20w minus 40. Just throw it all in parentheses. Don't simplify it in your head. You'll probably drop a zero or something. And then where do you go with that? Back in the y. Put it in a third one, so that's 
2400 minus 20W or 20X divided by 40. Graph. Bam. Uh, things seem like it's hard to see. Right? Okay, so how do I adjust my window to make things less hard to see? Lower the five. Okay, so if I go in here, I can, yeah, I could lower the, it's not I'm not so worried about the scale. I think that 200 though, it's too tall, right? So if I cut the 200 down to 100, and then I cut this 200 down to 150 or something. There's my first line, second line, third line. Okay, it's still a little crunchy, but I can see now that there's... You can see everything. Let's see, I've got to be in this. There's this piece, there's an intersection there, there's an intersection here. And we can keep track of what lines they're supposed to be. Yeah, and then I think we could think a little bit about which lines are which. Will it tell you the intersect, or do you have to hunt for it? Like yeah, you can get it to tell you the intersect, too. If you do second, calculate, under here there's an intersect button. Oops. Yeah, and so see how it's got this little blinking curve on the or blinking thing and it's asking first curve. So I'm gonna tell it that curve. And then it's asking for which other curve. And so I'm gonna scroll around until I'm sure which line that stupid thing is on. Okay. I'm gonna go back this way. Uh, up or down changes curves. I know. I'm just trying to figure out which one it's on because they're so close together there. My, my eyes are bad all. Okay, so this is on the bottom line. Do I care where this line hits the bottom one? No, I want the other one. So I want to go up and it'll switch. I don't care where that curve hits itself. I want this other line. Oh, it tells you the equation of the line. So that's me hitting that. Oh, it does. Oh, cool. So that's another thing. You guys see that? Mm -hmm. So I want to find that point, so I hit enter on this, and I don't, I don't guess, I believe the computer should be guessing. So it says x is 80, y is 20. Cool, that was one of the points I needed, right? Mm -hmm. And then you could go through the process again for the other intersection. I would say yes. Uh, oh, if there's the two one. Ones. Gotcha. It's doing Newton's method. Yeah. And Newton's method requires a guess to seed. For some reason, they didn't automate that process because sometimes it falls into a little trap. For those of you who haven't had calculus, don't worry about that. There's a cool thing that it's doing. Questions on this? You guys think you can manage to find this either with the calculator or algebraically? I don't care what you do. Cool? Mm -hmm.